Hi everyone, welcome. So today in the last video I have discussed about what is the difference between Git and GitHub. So today we will discuss about how to install this GitHub and Git. As I told you there are three steps are available. We need to follow four steps to work with Git and GitHub. Step number one, we need to create a Gmail account. Step number two, we need to create a GitHub account. Step number three, we need to install the Git client in your local machine. Step number four, we need to connect this Git client to the Git repo. So let us see how to work with this practically. First of all, what we have to do means we need to create a Gmail account. Are you following guys? So what I will try to do here is I will try to click on Gmail and there I want to create a new account actually. Create an account. I want to create for my personal use I will try to create. So always try to create uh, some name I will try to give. First name I will try to give as KB and last name I will give as trainer. Just I will give. I will create a new Gmail account and uh, month January 10th here I'll try to give 1995 and gender I'll try to give I'm creating a gmail account for myself so I think that mail id is not available so create your own gmail address I'll try to create something like this kb trainer or kb um, fsd trainer fsd means full stack trainer fs trainer kb fsd trainer that is my uh, gmail id kbfsg trainer at the rate gmail.com click on next button so password it is asking i'll give some password you can keep your own password i will not tell my password to you i create one password click on next button so i am creating the it is asking my recovery email id kannababu trainer at the rate gmail.com that is my recovery email id i'll try to click on next and here uh, this is my email ID, KB FSG Trainer. KB means Kannababu, FSG means Full Stack Trainer. Click on Next button. So let us see here, all of you. Come down, I agree. First of all, I am creating a Gmail account, all of you. I am telling you in a step by step manner so that it is easy for you. Without any struck, you can easily create a GitHub account. Successful, I create my Gmail account first step. Hi, KB, I got. Are you following? Now open another tab in your browser. And this time, what you can do means. You can simply uh, uh, click on this got it and here you can see. Now first you need to install the GitHub. So just go to your uh, GitHub. Go to Google and try to type GitHub. Just if you type here you can see GitHub you can click this link and there you can click on sign up. Is it clear? You need to create a, an account in GitHub. How you create the Gmail account in the same manner you can create a GitHub account also. So click on sign up and here you can give the email ID. What is the email ID I have created here? The same email ID I have to give here all of you. This is my email ID. KBFSG trainer at the rate gmail.com. I will copy that one and here I will try to paste it. Is it clear? And password if you want you can give your own password. So I have given the same uh, GitHub password. And username I will try to give as something like Kannababu. Number of lowercase password uh, needs a number lowercase and uppercase. Password uh, need a number lowercase and uppercase. So based on that one, I will try to create. Are you following? So one uppercase character I will give, one lowercase I will give, numbers I will give, some symbols I will try to give. It is a perfect password. Is it clear? And the username, username Kannababu is already not, not available uh, telling, no issues. Kannababu FSD trainer. That is my username. Kannababu FSD trainer. That is my username. This username must be very much clear. Otherwise, I will give all lowercase only. Otherwise, I will confuse. Kannababu FSG trainer. Later, you have to use this username when you want to connect from your Git client. Did you understand? Click on create account. Just click on create account. I am creating an account in the and the region that I am selecting is India. Please check the check boxes. Receive a Occasional product updates. If you don't want, uncheck no issues. Create the account. So step number one, I am creating the uh, Gmail account. Step number two, I am creating the GitHub account. So once go and check your Gmail, you got the OTP. And here you have to copy this OTP. And here you have to paste it. Is it clear? That is why Gmail account is also mandatory. Now it is asking you to give my username to connect to the GitHub. At the time of creating an account in the GitHub, I given the username now. What is my username? Uh, Kannababu FSD Trainer. FSD Trainer. This is my username. 
password also I have to give upper case, lower case, numbers, symbols. Click on sign in. So I'm directly connecting to the GitHub with my username and password. So this is the dashboard you can see here. This is the world of your profiles and everything, your documents, code repositories, everything you can maintain here actually. Creating your first code project. If you want, you can integrate the AA Copilot also for chatting if you have any queries. You can update your profile also here. GitHub documentation. If you want to learn any more stuff, you can see here. So first of all, I want to create a new repository. Repository means it is a folder that I'm trying to creating on the GitHub server. Repository name I'll try to give as my resume. My resume I'll try to mention here. As a student, I'm a fresher or experienced. You can keep your resume here. And description. Mm, uh, full stack developer. Full stack Java developer. Full stack Java developer with... Uh, 15 plus years of experience 15 plus years of experience i'll just mention here that's enough just click on create repository so i'm creating a repository did you understood so here if you can see these three dots here here you can see the three dots you can see whatever the repositories that you have created you can uh, it will showing here kanababu fsg trainer my resume so one folder is created here now i want to maintain my resumes and everything in this particular repository so in order to work with github you must have the knowledge on some comments actually that anyway i will explain clearly you no need to buy her these comments by default these all comments are available here are you following everyone first you can see git init we need to initialize the git means we need to connect our git client to the git repo that is git init next git add whatever the files that are available in your local machine we need to add to the git repository and then we need to save the changes and then we need to add that uh, to the branch. And then we need to connect uh, the local repository to my GitHub URL, this one. This is very, very important, actually. This is my GitHub URL. In interviews, if you give this URL to the uh, HRs, they will just click this URL and they can check the your profiles and other stuff. This is https slash slash github.com uh, slash my Git uh, uh, repo name here. This is my Git account username. Kannababu FSG trainer slash. This is my resume file. And you can do the push. We'll discuss clearly about this push, pull, commit and all the other stuff in the next video. So step number one, my dear friends, create the Gmail account. Step number two, create the GitHub account. Now step number three, we need to create a GitHub account. Step number three, we need to install the Git client. So how to install the Git client? Who wants that Git client means? Git client is uh, especially uh, used for developers who are working on the project. Developer, tester, data analyst, all the developers who are working on the project, they will use this one. So open one more tab and here you can try to just uh, download, git download. If you just type in Google, you can see here. Here this is the symbol, don't confuse here. Click on downloads. So in which operating system you want to download, you are using Windows operating system or Linux or Mac. Actually, as a students or a developers will use Windows. But you can uh, install the Git in Linux also in real time when you work with cloud environments or other stuff. Click on Windows. And here you can just uh, click here to download. Is it clear? So it is downloading here. Once check, you must have some patience until the download is completed. Just click here. And here you can see the symbol. Now we need to install. So simply double click. I'm installing the Git client. Click on S. And here click on next button. And your Git client is located in this location. C drive, program files, Git client. Click on next button. And again click on next button. If you want any shortcut on the desktop, you can create the icon. Otherwise leave it. Click on next button, next button, next button. Is it clear? And here let Git decide. Click on next button. And again click on next button. All next buttons only. Is it clear? Click on next, 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 next. Finally finish. Install. So it will take some time to install your Git. Are you following everyone? So step number one, create a Gmail account. Step number two, create a GitHub repository. Create a GitHub account. Step number three, install the Git client. Step number four, connect this Git client to the GitHub repository. If you want, you can directly connect by your username and email ID. 
but developers don't have the permission to directly connect to the git repository 100 percent you have to connect through your git client only so click on finish button is it clear let us see here somewhere click on always something like that and here let us see whether it is installed or not here you can see git client must be available here in the search box i can type git git bash that is available so now how to check whether git is installed successfully or not and how to connect your git client to the git repository first of all you need to go to the command prompt command prompt and here you have to type so let us see here all of you guys first of all i need to check whether my git username don't confuse here what is my git username all of you here you can see kb fsd trainer i think kanna babu fsd trainer kanna babu fsd trainer that is my username Yes sir, no. You can create your own username. This is my username. Now I want to check. Uh, open the command prompt, and here I will try to write the command. Uh, git space config space hyphen hyphen global space user dot name. So I install the Git client in my laptop now. So now when I press enter, here I entered the wrong spelling. I think Git space config. Is it clear? And press enter. now no username is registered with my git client and here i want to check my email id also no email id is registered now i will try to register my username to my git client so again you can type the command git space hyphen hyphen git space config space hyphen hyphen global space user dot name user dot name space in double quotes you have to write my username what is my username kanna babu fsd trainer now press enter Is it clear? And again, I want to register my email ID also. In string format, no, you have to give inside the double code. Git space config space hyphen hyphen global space user dot email. My email ID is what? What is my email ID, friends? Here I'll try to copy my email ID. New email ID what I created in my Gmail. And here I'll try to open my command prompt. And here I'll try to paste it. Is it clear? Email. And here I'll try to paste it my email ID here. Are you following? So right click. This is my email ID. At the rate gmail dot com. At the rate gmail dot com. Did you understood? So press enter. So successfully we registered our username and password. If you want to check whether username is connected or not, again you type this command. Git space config space hyphen hyphen global dot user dot name. Press enter. My username is registered. And here I'll try to give my password also. Is it clear? Press Enter. My my sorry, email ID is also registered. So now I got the permission. Now I need to connect my Git client to my Git repo. For that we need to write some commands. Is it clear? So thank you guys. I think you understood about this concept. How we install this Git and GitHub and other stuff. So please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. and for if you create a github account please share your github link in the comment box thank you catch you later in the next session